Your friends have been doing great on a low carb or keto diet and you want to join them. This video shares three easy to do steps so you can hit the ground running and get quick progress. The first step for both good health and fast weight loss is to cut refined carbohydrates out of your diet. Except for some dairy products, carbohydrates are nutrients that we get mainly from plant foods. That's because plants make carbohydrates through a process called photosynthesis. Therefore, if you are just getting started with the low carb way of eating, a quick trick for identifying whether or not a food has carbohydrates is to ask yourself if it came from a plant. If it did, then the answer is yes. But here is the important point. If that plant-based food makes it to your table and still looks like the plant it came from, such as a leaf of spinach, an apple, or an almond, we call it a whole carb. If we grind down the plant and turn it into spinach colored pasta, applesauce, or almond flour, we've created a refined carb. Whole carbs digest slowly, which quiets hunger and cravings. Refined carbohydrates digest quickly, so hunger and cravings return quickly. And the more refined a carbohydrate is, the more it spikes the fat storing hormone called insulin. Now you may have heard a piece of advice in the past telling you to shop around the edges of the grocery store and avoid the middle aisles. What this advice is essentially preventing you from doing is buying refined carbohydrates, which include cereal, bread, cookies, cakes, candies, chips, those types of items. And that is good advice, uh, yet I think many of us instinctively know that these foods that I just mentioned are not good for our waistline. However, things get a bit trickier when we are faced with products that are labeled as keto or low carb friendly. One of the mistakes that many people fall into when they are trying to get off to a quick start with low carb eating is simply swapping snacks or ingredients. For instance, they turn to snacks labeled as keto friendly or trade high carb ingredients like white flour and sugar for natural flours and sugar substitutes. Now you may be able to argue that these items are a step in the right direction in that they technically fit the macros you're aiming for. However, they can stand in the way of your progress. What you'll find in common with many of these keto friendly snacks and recipes is that they rely heavily on sweeteners and flour. And even though the sweetener may be free of calories and the flour might be refined from almonds or other lower carb plants, the reality is that the treat will keep your sweet tooth alive, which makes it harder to completely move away from your desire for sugar. It will also digest quickly and be calorie dense, making fat loss more challenging. The second thing that you can do to get your low carb diet off to a quick start is to eat a daily salad. One of the best low carb veggies you can eat is leafy salad greens. These vegetables fit either a low carb or keto diet with a three cup serving having only three grams of carbohydrates, two of which are fiber. And a daily salad provides two wonderful advantages as you get your diet rolling. First of all, a large salad provides a lot of volume, which fills your stomach and takes a long time to digest. Because of that, you feel full and hunger stays satisfied for a long time, preventing the desire to have a snack. Also, the salad is a perfect vehicle for smart carbs and healthy fats. And by smart carbs, I mean whole non-starchy vegetables like peppers and onions and tomatoes that provide a host of vitamins and minerals. These micronutrients biochemically fill you up, which not only enhances health, but also reduces your cravings. Healthy fats like salmon, steak, cheese, avocados, and oil and vinegar dressing taste wonderful on a salad and help you absorb the fat soluble vitamins from the vegetables. And in addition to all of these benefits, this meal size salad will digest very slowly, which will provide for you a steady stream of energy for the next few hours and keep you feeling good. If you want to see what goes into a delicious low carb, high fat salad, I have a video that shares my recipe here on YouTube that I will point you to. Now, when you start your low carb diet with steps one and two, you will be eating in a way that stabilizes your blood sugar. And there are many benefits to this. One of which is that it keeps hunger from getting out of control. With that advantage in your court, you'll find step three 
easy to do. So the third step to getting your low carb diet up and performing for you quickly is to stop eating three hours before bed. This is a basic rule, but has noticeable results. First of all, adhering to this rule prevents late night snacking, which is typically filled with high carb foods. In fact, research that evaluated the eating habits of a typical person showed that we ingest more than 35% of our daily calories after 6 p.m. By staying away from carbohydrates and calories before bed, you extend the benefits of your low carb diet into the overnight hours. And that is because not eating late into the evening keeps the fat storing hormone, which is called insulin, low overnight. And that encourages the release of fat from body fat storage as you sleep. Now, cutting out refined carbohydrates, eating a daily low carb, high fat salad, and declaring an end to your eating day three hours before bed will require attention and discipline. However, following these steps will pay you back with quick and noticeable results. These steps are three of my four daily habits for weight loss. You can download this one page sheet to help you remember the habits. And you'll also get access to my four videos that are not here on YouTube that explain how to get the most out of the strategy. And I will leave a link here on the video and down below in the description so that you can grab a copy of that for free. Thanks so much for watching. Please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel before you go and have a great week.